Hello everyone and welcome to a new IK video. This is Ken from 73 and in this video guys we're gonna talk about one of the most complicated skills to understand in the game which is lifelink. Lifelink is kind of complicated because a lot of people have arguments that the skill does not decrease the damage that you receive while it's active and a lot of people say that it does decrease the damage and the damage shared is being you know uh, turns into the other side whatever the skill has the link with so simply the skill is after the battle starts it has a 50 percent chance to trigger uh, creating a life link with two enemy units they will share your received damage of 50 percent i did some uh tests in the training camp before we go any further let me tell you guys about the flower campaign that is going on at the moment in app gallery simply users can earn 10 flowers for each cumulative consumption of 10 euros or other currencies of equal value users can use flowers to redeem coupons there is no limit to redeem the coupons the more you spend the more you can get up to 20 percent coupons back on all purchase all you need to do is download the game from app gallery check the description of the video down below to know how to download it and a simple reminder when you create a huawei account remember to choose a european country because this campaign is only valid in european countries for more information you can join app gallery discord also you can find the link in the description down below in in this side here i'm using maryland with lifelink however we're gonna start without lifelink and see how quickly the fight will end in the other side we have alex with berserker and anger only and with his ex exclusive artifacts and both have equipments at 55 except for merlin he has legendary equipment because this is what i have for him no skills no artifacts he just will be tanking alex and see how quickly the fight will end without with lifelink or any other defensive skills one two three four five six six normal attacks from alex only one of them was a critical damage six normal attacks one was critical hit 1.1 million damage uh, the normal attacks averages of 600,000 damage we're gonna do one more without life link and see how it goes i think we can do uh three hits each two three four five six six hits as well two of them were critical hits however the last hit uh did a low damage six normal attacks the average of each and every attack is 600 thousand you can see here the damage taken from merlin right fight ended in exactly nine seconds now we're gonna add life link and notice whether it does decrease the damage receiving by 50 percent or it's only sharing the damage without decreasing any damage however it is kind of low chance for it to activate in the first 10 seconds of the, of the battle so we might have to do more than one okay did not activate here we're gonna take a look at the stats no alex did not uh, do any damage through lifelink so we're gonna have to do one more hopefully it does this round Nope, it did not activate. Need <laughs> to do one more. Well, I made sure to choose Merlin because he receives more damage from Alex. That means that the fight will end quickly and we won't have to wait. Now it did activate this time. And Alex received a lot of damage from himself. Taking a look at the report. Alex did nine normal attacks. Each and every normal attack did an average of 420,000 damage. And you can see that this is the damage shared through lifelink. There's almost 25% damage done to Alex because of the, uh, you know, the 50% that is being shared on lifelink is usually. Uh, shared between two immortals and not only one immortal and in this case alex is the only one immortal in the enemy team that means that he's gonna uh, receive only 25 percent of the damage and you can see that the battle time lasted for 13 seconds usually it runs from eight to nine seconds i did a lot of this before i start recording and this is what i figured out lifelink does decrease the damage 
taken while the skill is active by 50% and it does share the other 50% with the enemy team that the link is attached to each one of them receive 25% of the damage that is being done to Merlin while the skill is active so this is how life link works the skill usually works in some old ways because whenever I use the skill with a skill such as you know more let's see here physical shield yeah physical shield let's use physical shield and maybe we use fighting master while I'm using these two skills usually Merlin uh, or the immortal equipped with lifelink does more damage we're gonna find out right now so let's see how this goes okay merlin became a bit uh, tankier now the skill is active and you can see there's a lot of damage going through alex alex is killing himself all right Let's uh, take a look at the report. Right, now you can see that Alex dealt 1.4 million damage to himself. I know the fight lasted a bit longer because Merlin is a bit tankier and he received more than usual normal hits from Alex. Also, uh, the skill I think was triggered twice in this fight, not only one, but it is something I'm not sure if I can measure right now because, well, maybe we can. Maybe we can, but we will have to remove Merlin, use Ragnar, make sure that he has his equipments. All right, so now we're going to use only lifelink, but we're going to need a defensive artifact and see how this goes. So I think we all can agree right now that lifelink does reduce the damage received. But what I need to test right now, whether using more defensive skills is going to do more damage through lifelink or the more damage that you receive, the more damage that you will reflect. This is what I'm trying to test right now. All right, that lasted the... Uh... We did not use, we did use lifelink in this fight and it dealt almost 1 million damage to Alex. Alright, average normal hits is 150. This is with lifelink. What we need to test right now, what if we added physical shield uh -huh. and Combo. No, not combo. We're gonna use combo on Alex just to make the fight a bit quicker. We're only gonna add physical shield. Let's confirm this. And for Alex, we're gonna add combo. And maybe remove anger. Yeah, remove anger and we can add wind rage. This is gonna make it even more quicker. We're good to go. Let's start. All right, Lifelink is active right now, and Alex is killing himself. To be honest, I'm not sure what I'm trying to get out of this. All what I'm trying to prove is that the the more defensive the Immortal is, the more damage coming from Lifelink will be. And I have a report to show. However, I, <laughs> Ragnar is winning. <laughs> I'll show you a report that I saved from a very long time ago. Anyway, let's check this one before. All right, lifelink dealt 2.4 million damage, 54 attempt, and the average of each and every normal attack was around 60,000. The critical hit was around 90,000. Same for combo when fury. However, this just proves a bit of my point. However, taking a look at a real report, a real report in. Uh, what is happening? What is happening? Where is my screen? Yeah, there we go. 
Uh, I think it was around here. No, here, here, a bit earlier than here. There we go. No, this was not full truths. This one here. I was using lifelink on my LZ. I was using fighting master physical shield and he was facing Alex directly. So in this fight here, Alex dealt 4.4 million damage through lifelink to his allies. Looking at the damage taken from, from his allies, you can see it is 2.2 million from Alex. And 3,000 here. 1.8 Alex did damage to himself. This is was because I'm using a lot of defensive skills on my Elsad. Taking a look here, this is the same battle report, the same march that I was using. Uh, I was fighting, however, the troops in the back line wasn't that much. But you can see the damage dealt from lifelink here. 3.6 million damage. Most of it dealt was Zenobia and Alex himself. This is everything I wanted to talk about uh, regarding lifelink. The skill is pretty much OB. The only downside for the skill is that it does it does have a 50% chance to trigger every 6 seconds. Anyway, this is, this is it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day.